Hi everyone, this video will be focusing on the Nature Republic Real Matte Lipstick. So these are the new lipstick from Nature Republic and it comes in 8 different shades. They are all beautifully packed as you can see. The packaging is like a matte packaging and on the bottom of the lipstick, it shows you the color. So the lipstick is basically true to color to what you will apply on your lips. And I love that this is magnetic. Look at this. It is amazing. And the tip of the lipstick is like a rounded tip. So let's get on to the lipstick swatches first. As always, I always apply the gradation and then the full lip to show you how it looks like. So first of all, this lipstick is supposed to give you a matte finish. But at the same time, when you apply, it's supposed to give you like a silky touch, which means that when you apply on your lips, it feels very moisturizing, very smooth, but it turns into a powdery finish to give you that matte look and there's no gloss. But when you first apply, you do see that glossy finish. But then once you leave it on for a bit, it straight away turn into matte and it doesn't feel dry at all which is great because I do have dry lips so this lipstick is perfect I can actually compare this to the Clio matte matte lipstick and I do have to say the formula is almost the same both are as comfortable as they are on my lips and I really do am happy with the result however I do notice that with this collection, they focus a lot on the red and pink undertone. So a lot of the colors are quite similar. They are a bit different, but I can see a lot of the similarities once I look through all of them in the video. But there are few ranges from red to pink to coral orangey and a little bit of nudie shades as well which I'll show you guys soon most of the colors they are very true to color as well but soon you, I'll show you one particular shade that doesn't match the model at all Pro probably because I have very pigmented lips but I'm just very surprised with the turnout but overall all of these colors are amazing they are very vibrant they are very vivid looking they look beautiful they don't show any of my dry patches and they apply very smoothly on the lips did I already say that and it's very easy to apply because of the smoothness of the lipstick now onto the shades so I've already um, talked through the last three I haven't really spoken about it but it's really easy to tell what the colors are and that they are very true to color so number four they it is called pink macaron I don't even think that it's like a pinky shade I feel like this is more like a corally shade but it looks more like corally pinkish to me so I guess it's like a pinky shade but it's very different from the model so this is the shade that I was mentioning it just looks very very different on my lips and this is how it looks like after six hours of applying it so it's actually not bad it's quite long lasting but if you want it long last longer probably just apply lip liner underneath now number five sparkling pink this is my type of pink color it's a little bit different to the model for me it is much more brighter it's much more vibrant you can see more of the pink shade compared to the radius shade like the model so obviously this lipstick I feel like it will be different for those who have high pigmented lips or don't for me I have high pigmentation lips so obviously the colors was a bit off for this last two shades but most of the colors they are pretty true to match which is really good now number six fuchsia crush this is have like a little bit of a purple undertone which looks really gorgeous on my lips I really like it however as a gradation lip it just look like a normal pink but in real life for the fuller lip you can definitely tell the light purple undertone to it it just look really really beautiful my lips and i really like it a lot look at that so it's a little bit different from the model it's much more brighter on my lips now number seven this is like a peachy nude shade this is the only nude shade or like a brownie shade in this collection just because yeah it's just for me it just looks more mauvey on my lips because of my pigmentation lip for those who have maybe like a really fair skin i believe this will look beautiful on you with this beautiful brown shade obviously this color is called chiffon coral so i'm expecting it's supposed to be like a corally nudie shade maybe but for me it's just more leans with the mauvey nudie shade which i quite like actually but i would prefer using lip liner underneath this one now the last shade is a little bit of a mixture of like a brownish nudie shade but it has a lot of the red undertone so depending where you are and what time you are out and stuff it looks completely different so here i'm just going to show you how it looks like under my ring light under my ring light it looks more towards like the reddish side of color but in real life like under daylight it leans towards like the red brown i actually wore this the other night again and it leans towards like the reddish shade so 
it's very hard to describe this color but it is very beautiful so for the ratings i'm giving this quite a high rating obviously for the price is over ten dollars and for the transfer it doesn't transfer as much which is good so overall i'm really happy with this so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time bye